Good morning, friends. How are you guys? I miss you guys so, so much. And I really hope we can see each other soon again. But in the meantime, I really wanted to read you guys a story. Um, I love story time, and I know you guys all love story time as well. So I hope you enjoy the book I'm about to read. And remember to stay home, stay safe, and make sure you guys are washing your hands, all right? The story is called Dear Mr. Blueberry, and this is by Simon James. Remember, this is the front cover, this is the spine, and here we have the back cover, okay? And always remember the author writes the book and the illustrator draws, okay? Dear Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I love wows very much, and I think I saw one in my pond today. Please send me some information on wows, as I think he might be hurt. Love, Emily. Dear Emily, here are some details about wows. I don't think you'll find it was a whale you saw, because whales don't live in ponds. Where do whales live, guys? Do you know? But they live in salt water. Yours sincerely, your teacher, Mr. Blueberry. So whales live in the ocean. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I am not putting salt into the pond every day before breakfast. And last night I saw my whale smile. I think he is feeling better. Do you think he might be lost? Love, Emily. Do you think it was a whale in her pond? I don't know. Let's read and find out, guys. Dear Emily, please don't put any more salt in the pond. I am sure your parents won't be pleased. I'm afraid there can't be a whale in your pond because whales, they don't get lost. They always know where they are in the oceans. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. So I guess whales have a good sense of direction. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I am very happy because I saw my whale jump up and spurt lots of water. He looked blue. Does this mean that he might be a blue wow? Love, Emily. Yes, what can I feed him with? Hmm, what do you think wows like to eat? Do you know? Comment below if you guys know what wows like to eat. Also comment if you know what is in her pond, because I don't know. Do you think there's a blue wow in there? Dear Emily, Blue whales are blue, and they eat tiny shrimp-like creatures that live in the sea. However, I must tell you that a blue whale is much too big to live in your pond. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. P.S. Perhaps it is a blue goldfish. Do you think there's a goldfish living in your pond? Hmm. Dear Mr. Blueberry, last night I read your letter to my whale. Afterward, he let me stroke his head. It was very exciting. I secretly took him some crunched up cornflakes and breadcrumbs. This morning I looked in the pond and they were all gone. I think I shall call him Arthur. What do you think? Love, Emily. If you had a whale in your backyard in your pond, what would you call him? Dear Emily, I must point out to you quite forcibly, now that in no way could a whale live in your pond. You may not know that whales are migratory, which means they travel great distances each day. I am sorry to disappoint you. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Hmm. You guys still think it's a whale in her pond? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I'm a little sad. Arthur has gone. I think your letter made sense to him, and he has decided, decided to be migratory again. Love, Emily. Do you think the whale disappeared? Where do you think he went? Would you be sad if your pet went away? How do you think Emily's feeling? 
Dear Emily, please don't be too sad. It really was impossible for a whale to live in your pond. Perhaps when you are older, you would, would like to sail the ocean studying and protecting whales. Yours sincerely, Mr. Bloomberry. Hmm, you think she'll study whales when she grows up? How about you guys? What will you study? Dear Mr. Blueberry, it's been the happiest day. I went to the beach and you'll never guess, but I saw Arthur. I called to him and he smiled. I knew it was Arthur because he let me stroke his head and I gave him some of my sandwich. Dot, 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 dot. It was Arthur. So was there really a well in her pond? And then we waved goodbye. I shouted that I loved him very much and I hope he don't, and I hope you don't mind. I said you loved him too. Love Emily and Arthur. So her teacher didn't believe her, but she really did have a well in her pond. The end. So guys, tell me what you guys thought about this story. Tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it in the comments below. And also for your assignment, I want you guys to think of a pet you would have. Any kind of pet, all right? And I want you to draw about it, write about it, talk about it with your parents, okay, guys? And also, don't forget to send me pictures of you guys doing your work. I would love to see you guys working hard, and it makes me happy, guys, all right? I miss you guys. Bye. I'll see you.